So today was a pretty busy day. We tried to finalize a bunch of projects, uh, the Olds 442 and the wife's Camaro. And then we started to get some new projects in with Percy's no prep car. And uh, just kind of had a fun day. A bunch of people around, did a bunch of stuff, acted stupid, but that's all right. We're pretty good at that. Some days you just got to do what you do best. And then we'll show you a little bit, a couple little quick tech tips maybe. I tried to put carpets in this piece of uh, nice car and um, reminded me of a story. I was trying to drill holes in the carpet one day and a customer was in here and he said, what the hell are you doing? And I was having a problem. It was shitty carpet and I mean it was winding up my drill bit bad. <laughs> he said, why don't you just burn a hole through it? I said, what do you mean burn a hole through it? He said, just teed up a punch or a bolt or something. He says, burn a hole through it. And I said, well... All right, why don't we give it a try? Maybe everybody else knows this, and I didn't, I don't know. But just in case, I thought I'd show you. Does this work slick? When you get done with this, you don't have to kill the punch, but you gotta, you gotta warm it in good shape. And you put this on the carpet. My bolt, I have a seat bolt sticking up there. I can feel it. If it's a hole, same thing, whatever. Find a place to mark your hole. Usually if I have a hole, I stick a bolt in the, in the hole so I can feel it, and then I burn down on top of the bolt. In this case, it's a stud sticking up, so kind of no big deal. You just heat that carpet up and burn it right over that bolt, and there you go. And that works slick. You're never going to have to worry about it fraying, tearing, nothing. That's the carpet right there that I drilled a hole in, a piece of scrap. Look at that. That burned hole, if you have a drilled hole, you're going to end up catching this carpet and sucking it into your drill bit, and, and you're going to say darn, and several other bad words, which this prevents. And it'll, uh, in the finished products, way nicer too. So, I don't know, like I say, maybe I'm the only one that didn't know this before. I've been doing it for years now, but I drilled carpets for years before that and swore every time. Shift boot, something like that with small screws, use a small punch, seats, use a bigger punch, whatever. The dimmer switch over there, I burnt through for that. I've got to put that grommet on there. I just wallered the punch around until I had the hole big enough. Because, you know, if I had to punch that big, I'd, it'd be a monster. But it all works for whatever you're doing. Percy, what do you think of this peach and chit? You like your carburetor? Why? Yeah, I'm missing so no. How? <laughs> but it matches your hoses, bro. Yeah. What? That's it. Yeah, that purple reflects your personality. Alright, so you're going to put the underglow on. Philly? Oh. This is now, what happens when you let children have race cars. Rice <laughs> rice cars? Well, he had rice cars before. Rice car. Oh, rice car. You so rice did car. you have rice cars I before? I do, yes. Yeah. It does currently. You still do, don't you? Yeah, he needs, needs a window. Pitiful. He needs a window. Yeah. So, you have underglow. Brake right fan definitely smashed the bird off Oh, brother. It's oh, look at that. The underglow matches the carburetor. Wow. It's so cute. Aren't race car guys supposed to be concerned with weight, not bullshit? No, that's not heavy. That's light bullshit. I can permit to use this. Oh my god. Yep, yep. The same purple. Look at this. It's even under the front. It's everywhere. God. Um, Percy, I don't want to be an asshole. Yeah, yeah, I think it's time for an overflow bottle, Percy. That's, uh, yeah. That's a little bit hillbilly. But it works. That's gangster as fuck right there. Hey, yeah, the zip tie. Is that NHRA approved? Yeah, yeah SFI. The SFI. <laughs> yeah. The, the yeah. zip tie. I mean, I like the fact that you cut the end off really nice. Zip tie hose plant. Yeah. You didn't want to, like, flush cut that. 
the rod. Yeah. So it's just a... Yeah, you'd rather have yeah. the, the, the rod is also... Oh, the what? rod is zip tied in. What? Oh, my Percy. God. Percy. I'm not friends Bro? anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Buddy. We have to have a long talk with you, Percy. A long, long talk. Oh, that's a good thing they don't have tack. <laughs> There, we got the wife's car all done. She said she wanted more horsepower and the whole thing redone, and I said no. So, we painted the whole car. We've done the exhaust. We still have to do the HP tuner. So we know who the boss is. Who's the boss? I'm the boss. <laughs> Fancy car. All detailed out, clean, ready to rock. Are you going to do burnouts? Just a few. I have to test it. Yeah. You have to test it. Awesome. All we can do is set those tire sensors and we're done. And this baby's gone. <laughs>